Hey, what's up? This is Loth here. Uh, so, today we're going to teach you uh, how to create an FT1 track. Uh, today we're going to be making Red Bull Ring, as you can see right here. Um, I am recording this after, you know, making the track and actually after the event happened. But, um, yeah, we're going to show you how to make an FT1 track, how I would do it, how I would tune the track, how I would import the track, everything to do with how to make a track. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to go ahead and upload your world to the server. Um, this will only be done if you have console access, right? So if you're trying to set up the track, um, you're going to have to go through someone who has console access to upload the world. Um, for instance, if you, yeah, like if you don't have console access, you can ask Adam or myself to upload the world, send us a link to download and upload uh, from, and then we'll go from there. Um, for today's demo, we're going to be using uh, Red Bull Ring, um, the Austria Grand Prix for episode one. And um, this time around, we're going to be using Gab's version of Red Bull Ring. So, um, yeah, we're going to download it from here. I gone ahead and already downloaded it and um, compressed it to a zip file and we're going to upload it soon. Um, generally, though, we take from the pseudo FRA, obviously give him credit in Planet Minecraft. Um, he has all sorts of tracks. You can go view all the content. Um, and yeah, if you want to find specifically one track, you just search here. I just type in red and red bull ring pops up, right? Go ahead and go with that if you wanted to. We can go with whatever. Um, Otherwise, actually, there's another way to um, make tracks, and that's by using a um, a mural generator. So I'm going to go to mcstacker.net slash murals, um, and this is the website. I can go ahead and we'll go over this later, I believe, and um, but for now, we'll just go ahead and go with the standard approach. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to the console, um, and then we're going to go ahead and upload the .zip file that I made. Um, yep, so we have Red Bull Ring .zip. This is the one I just made. And we're going to go ahead and upload that. And there we go. So that, yeah, we just uploaded the .zip file. Um, how these consoles work is that you can't upload a folder. So for instance, I believe if I try to do this, I can't just upload the folder. It, it'd send me in and I had to find like, a file to upload, right? So I can, I can upload that if I wanted to, right? But um, Cool. Uh, yeah, so you have to make it a .zip file, which um, you can just go ahead and, for instance, if you wanted to make a .zip file of this, test1, then we can um, go ahead and add to archive. I'm using, oh, I don't even remember, it's WinRAR. I'm using WinRAR, right? And then you just do .zip. I think .zip is generally better for our host, um, or like, it works more consistently for me. Uh, that's what I found. But uh, yeah, so then you make that a .zip, and then you upload that .zip. And then once you go into here, you can see that I have a um, SC1 level ring .zip. You can go ahead and unarchive it, and that will um, unpack the .zip and make it an actual normal folder, right? And normally you can just go ahead and once you, yeah, you can see the folder right here. Um, once you've gone ahead and unzipped, you can just kind of um, delete it, um, save space, um, easy on the eyes. So yeah, now we have the world folder on the server. So now we're going to go ahead and go in end game and import it into the world and go from there. Alrighty, now that we have the world on the server console, we can go ahead and import it into the server. So we're going to go ahead and do an MV import. Uh, and then the name of your world, so in our case we did FC1 Red Bull Ring. And then we do normal. Normal means that you do it as a normal world. You can also do like, I think it's the nether or something, and you can also do um, the end. Yeah, so now we've gone ahead and Im imported the world FC1 Red Bull Ring, and now we can just go ahead and CP over there. And here we are. We are now into the world. Um, so yeah, immediately right after that, we have a lot of things to do. Um, first off, we spawned over there. So I think that we just go ahead and do set world spawn here. World spawn... That's, and that command basically sets the world spawn to wherever you're, like, wherever you're standing and looking. Um, yeah. And then, from here, we have several other things we have to do. First one that I generally always do is game rules. Um, I'm picky about game rules, um, for, and for good reason. Things like do mob spawning, which I'm pretty sure is on. Yeah, so basically bats can spawn in like dark places, or if it's nighttime, creepers and stuff can spawn, and we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and set that to false, 
And I'm just going to go ahead and go through a lot of other ones, right? So we got command block output false, line false, 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 uh, I think that's basically all the game rules I generally do. There's, there's, there's fairly a lot, as you can see, but, um, yeah, that's just generally what I go ahead and do. Um, yeah, and then from there, we also actually just recently set up some permission stuff. Uh, let's see if I can pull that up real quick. Okay, yeah, so I now have a list of stuff that we should add. Um, these are all world guard flags, so um, basically things that like prevent you from, or prevent normal players from like building and blowing stuff up on the um, racetracks or whatever world you want. So for every world they import onto the server, uh, this is specifically for ABG, um, or any server that has world guard, which ABG does have world guard, um, you can go ahead and run these flags. Uh, actually, if you're not on ABG, um, you know, a different server, you might have to set up um, some extra stuff for um, luck perms or world guard and add some like groups and regions and stuff. Uh, so it might, it might not completely apply everything I do here if you're on a different server. And once again, um, these three commands I'm doing right now um, are going to only really work on um, ABG because um, um, builder world edits and staff are um, groups that we have in luck firms for ABG. Um, so your server might be different. You might name staff as like admins or something, right? And then you'd have to do instead of staff, you do admins, uh, etc. But yeah, so that's the world guard stuff that we just did last time. Uh, um, pretty new for ABG. Um, this would prevent normal players from like breaking blocks and placing blocks and stuff. Um, yeah, okay. And then I think that's mostly everything for like just immediately right off the bat. Um, all right, uh, also set warps. Go ahead and just like, I'm gonna just show the side of the track like right here. So like we can look at the, you know, they go that way, we look this way a little bit, right? Uh, so I just do set warp, Red Bull Ring. Um, and you can just check. Red Bull Ring, or Red Bull Ring, and there you go. Alright, I forgot to mention one more thing. Um, to set the default game mode for a multiverse world, uh, you have to run this following command. You do nvm set game mode, and then whatever game mode, right? So I think it'll... No? Okay. I was, hope, I was hoping it'd show like all four options. Um, so generally you just don't want to do creative, because um, that's... Like, we have the permission set up so that even if you're in creative, you can't build unless you have the right permissions. Um, you know, you can also do like, survival. If you really wanted to make everyone survival in this world, uh, you can do a spectator, I guess. I've never done that one, but uh, yeah, you can make the default game mode spectator. But yeah, so that's how you set up the default game mode for a given multiverse world. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that's all the first stuff that you have to do. Alrighty, uh, next we're going to go ahead and ice over the track. Alright, next up is icing the track. Um, so there are many different ways of doing this. Um, I think the most... Um, common way of doing this would be using world edits, right? So you can just take any tool you want, right? And you can just do something like, uh, brush, uh, I think it's cylinder, blue ice, and then like do, this is gonna be the radius of the circle that it makes. So like you can just, I don't know, seven here, and then one for one block high. You can see that if you do this, it makes a cylinder, do that, it makes a cylinder. But we only want it to affect the, uh, I think it's cyan terracotta. Yeah, of course, cyan terracotta. So we're going to go ahead and do Mask, Cyan, Terracotta, while holding the brush, right? And now you can see it only affects the Cyan, Terracotta. So this is one way of um, icing over the track. I guess in this case we'd want it to be larger. So we do like, I don't know, 10, and that would be enough, and then we just go along. Um, how I generally do it is I um, actually have a um, carrot stick system that I use and prefer. Um, Basically, I have a command block system that basically runs commands whenever I activate a carrot stick or a fungi stick. Or, or okay, a carrot on a stick or a fungi on a stick. Um, so basically, we're gonna do... Yeah, we can just go ahead and get rid of these. Um, execute at lead sloth, run fill. Uh, I don't know, negative 10, negative 1, negative 10, 10, negative 1, 10. Uh, blue ice. And replace cyan terracotta. 
And then we can also do, um, ice replace white concrete, because that was the edge of the track, right? Um, and then over here, we can go ahead and do the inverse, which would be, I don't think this is important, right? Yeah, no, okay. Um, it would be cyan terracotta, replace blue ice, and then we do the same thing for ice and white concrete. Okay, um, turn these on. Cool, and then go back. So now, let's see, hopefully the carrot stick thing works. I might actually adjust it. Um, it only does right under my feet, and I might want to do like a few blocks. Yeah, okay, so that's a big issue, right? You can miss and hit stuff, but uh, it seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, so I just go ahead and ice over the entire track. Um, obviously, you'd have to uh, clean up stuff like this. Um, in this case, I'd actually just kind of um, make the runoff like packed ice. So I just kind of just for just for fun. I'll also, game rule send command feedback false. Replace cyan terracotta. Uh, One seventy four. One seventy four is the numeric ID for packed ice. It's like um how. Zero is air, one is stone, two is grass, block, three is dirt. Those are the, all the ones in there. I think 79 is um, ice. Yeah. So uh, this is shorthand. You can just do 174. Uh, for packed ice, you can just do set packed ice. You just PA and then press tab and you're good to go. Um, yeah. But yeah, then I generally just kind of go throughout the track. Generally on flat tracks, I actually, instead of doing like negative 10, negative 1, negative 10, and so on, um, I kind of just. Um, I'm sending on Y52, so I just do 51, and that would work, right? Um, but this isn't a flat track, so I'm gonna have to do, uh, sweeping negative one. Yep, yeah, and then we just go ahead, ice over everything. I'm gonna go ahead and actually go home real quick, and adjust a little bit. Oh yeah, um, finally, another way of, um, doing everything. Would, um, or like icing things over would actually just be running these field commands by hand. If you don't have world edits and you don't have carrot stick system that I've set up, then you can just go ahead and use slash fill commands. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. It's basically just doing this command, um, but like standing actually where, you're, where you want to do it, right? So I guess, for instance, if I wanted to do here, I want to make all this like cyan terracotta uh, ice, right? Or blue ice. I would do um, basically just actually fill. Negative 10, negative 1, negative 10, 10, negative 1, 10. Blue ice, replace uh, cyan terracotta, right? And if you don't include the cyan terracotta, it's just going to remove everything. And this is not like world edit, so you can't just do like slash slash undo or whatever. There's no like vanilla undo command. So you have to be really careful with these commands. Um, I'm taking a risk by using my carrot on a stick and uh, fungi stick system that I've made. Um, so I'm taking a big risk with that, but... Um, I generally know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, and how I'm switching through um, game modes, by the way, is holding F3 and then pressing F4. And then if you keep pressing F4, it'll scroll. Another way of switching between game mode, creative, and spectator is just hold F3 and press N. And you just, yeah, you just quickly go through. Um, if you also hold F3, F4, you can also like select with your mouse, which means is sometimes if you're removing your mouse and doing F3, F4, you can sometimes put yourself in uh, survival mode. So people sometimes, or some people like to just use F3, F, uh, F3, M instead of um, F3, F4. I generally use F3, F4, but sometimes, yeah, right, right there I did F3, N. And yeah, so spectator mode is good because it lets you like fly quickly, right? Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm using fungus stick, but if you really want to, you can use this. Um, use a brush, and then you can go ahead and go through the track again with a different brush, um, with a different mask to go ahead and replace the um, white concrete with ice. Oh yeah, you can speed up in spectator mode, by the way, by um, using a scroll wheel. So you know, like, how you do this is a scroll wheel, and if you're in spectator mode, you can just scroll up or scroll down or whatever, and then it'll speed up and slow down. And you can also sprint um, while in spectator mode, and that will speed you up. Yeah, so generally I just, um, for FC1 tracks, I go with a base of blue ice, and then I add packed ice where I see pits. Alright, there's the pit lane. For Gab's tracks, um, like this one, um, there's going to be a lot of, um, like the F1 cars and stuff like that. Oh, I'm going to fix that. 
Um, so yeah, we're going to have to remove the F1 cars. And yeah, don't forget about the pit lane. Um, I've done just use world edit for this, but I mean, while we're here, we may as well just like do it. <laughs> I'm going to have the bulk tune up. Oh yeah, if you want a tutorial, by the way, on how to make the fungi stick system, you can um, see the comments or whatever. I might make it. It's not uh, vital for um, for making the or for like creating trash or anything. It's not like specific to ice building, so I might just not or I'm not planning on making one. But if people really want to see it, then I can totally make one. Just let me know. Yeah, so that's um, that's the track that's been iced over now. Um, We'll deal with that later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we have the track iced over, and we can go ahead and go further. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Um, actually, yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and clean up after what I did. So these, I might use the fungi stick later or whatever for like big mess ups, but um, yeah, in general, I like to stick to world edit tools because they're more precise. Um, cylinder, cyan terracotta. I guess I'm gonna do three, one, and mask blue ice. So now it should make a oh god, <laughs> it should make a cylinder whenever I right click anywhere on blue ice. Um, so we can go ahead and remove this right here. Uh, actually, we can go ahead and do the same thing here. We'll do blue ice instead of cyan terracotta, and we'll mask cyan terracotta. There we go. Yep, so now we do this. Uh, oops. That makes the concrete, that makes the ice, that makes sign terracotta, that that makes the blue ice. Um, I guess, for instance, here, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and um, remove this blue ice in the middle, because I don't think you, you're going to be wanting to drive on that, or you're going to want to allow people to drive on that during the actual race. Um, this is awkward. Yes, yeah, so update over. And that's fine, because now we have this tool, and then we can just clean it up. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this track has, like, water elevators and stuff, so um, it'll actually be good for um, showcasing how I deal with elevation. Uh, this tutorial, I mean, and doing it on this track. Um, I guess we can do this now. So we missed a little bit with that, and then we can go do, let's do this. Okay. We don't need this anymore. Hmm. Yeah, replace, oh, we can go further back and go like here. Replace cyan terracotta with packed ice. Then can go like all the way back if you really want to. Why not? We just go like here, I guess. Okay, and then yeah, we made a mess over here. We can clean it up, etc. Generally, when there are alternate routes on a track, I love, like, just messing with them and, um, using them. Like, I think, uh, Spain, Catalonia, um, I added the cone skip, which is, like, there's a, um, split, like, a fork in the road at the end of the track-ish, where, um, yeah, and basically I just kind of let people, um, choose instead, like, because, um, in real life it was that, um, you only can do one, but, um, you know, like, there's like, uh, they blocked off one of the routes, but, um, I had the cone skip for Catalonia. Um, so I like to generally mess around with, um, adding different routes, um, to tracks, especially, like, when I can, like, when there's, um, when there are different routes available. But, um, like, obviously, like, that's, this is just, this is just skipping so much of the track, so obviously you can't do that. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, there is a lot of elevation here. I'm probably going to go ahead and fatten it a bit. There's still going to be a little bit of elevation, but it's not going to be like as much as you're seeing right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that later. Or we could add them. Or we could like let this be a thing right here. Maybe. Like, we had runoff zones at Baku, and I actually like ended up going inside one during the race, I think, and it actually helped. Or like, yeah. No, it was uh, Canada. 
and it actually helped me. Um, so I mean, hmm, you know what? Yeah, sure, we can go ahead and do it. We'll allow this. Place, cyan, terracotta, uh, pack ice. Go ahead and do it again here. Oh, right, that's not going to be fun. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh. About like that, yeah. Okay. That's that. We keep going. We can go ahead and make the cyan terracotta there packed ice as well. Like. Oh, that's gonna be over there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's actually block this off too. Or, um, yeah, do this like, here. Um, yeah, because we don't want people thinking that it, they can actually go this way. Because they can't, or they shouldn't, because it's blocked off. I mean, if they, they can if they want to. I mean, I'm not gonna. If you want to take that pit entrance and deal with the block, or blockade and shit, then go ahead. <laughs> um. I think that's everything. Alright, let's go ahead and sweep the track again, see if I missed anything. Oh, I guess. 79. Ice is probably actually faster to spell out. Yeah, I have more muscle, me muscle memory on that. Uh, Alright, and then set side and Arcata. What are we going to do? Place. So sadly there's no um, number or ID for blue ice. Like 179 or 174 is packed ice and 79 is ice. There's no um, there's no ID for blue ice. Very sad. That's sad. Kind of like, I, I learned the 174 and 79 when I was trying to fi find the blue ice one. Because like, it's, it's easy to type ice and packed ice. You just do PA tab, right? And then you get packed ice and ice is to be that word. But blue ice is always really annoying, but um, sadly I couldn't find anything. Um, or like, um, after a certain point they stopped um, giving blocks numeric ideas. Um, yeah, so I guess blue ice was after that point. Very sad. Uh, this looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I mean, like, if you, if you, um, everyone knows that, like, you missed the spot, you know, just go back and fix it or whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. I don't know, just check right now, while we're making the track. May as well. Yeah, this part right here, we're probably also going to want to lower. It, ah, uh, the, the tunnel and the, uh, bro. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we can just like raise this part instead of lowering that part. I don't know. Bull. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so that's icing over the track. Uh, right next, so we're gonna go ahead and tune up the track and deal with the elevation. Alrighty. All right. Next, we get to do the fun part, which is tuning the track. So we're going to go ahead and get some new brushes. This is just gonna place packed ice and um, blue ice. Um, so we're gonna do brush sill, um, packed ice, I guess like, I don't know, 10. Uh, yeah, should we do 10, 1, and then we can do mask blue ice. I'm gonna go ahead and get a second set of brushes as well. Same thing, but like with a smaller radius, so it's more precise. Um, we can do like 3, and then that, and then we do blue ice. And one, mass pack ice. Uh, 
that was voice, and then that's back test. Now we can do this, 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 this. Cool. All right. Um, so generally, when it's a flat track, I can just kind of go ahead and add pack dice where I feel is necessary, and then that's all the tuning I have to do. But for tracks with elevation, you also have to deal with the elevation, and that's a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, so <sighs> tuning is its own thing. I've been asked a lot of questions recently about how I tune tracks, and um, I've noticed that I don't really have that many good answers for anything. Um, and I don't really have a strict game plan that I follow when I'm making tracks. Oh god. Um, generally, I think the game plan is to make things interesting, right? I do not want FC1 to be a thing where every track is the exact same, but with different turns. And like, it's just, do a reverse entry, like every other reverse entry you've done here, but then like turn like this, instead of like this, or you know, and then so on. I don't want it to just be the same track, but with different turns kind of thing. I want every track to be distinct and different, right? Um, for instance, uh, Spa Francisha, or whatever it's pronounced, um, will feel different than uh, 2022 Monaco, because Monaco has elevation, and is decorated, and is clearly a different track, right? Um, Silverstone is different than Monaco, because it's like, wide, and it has a lot more blue ice, and straights, and it's longer, and stuff, right? It feels very different. I'm gonna want this to feel different than Silverstone, feel different from the Studio FRA tracks, which are the normal tracks that we use, and so on. Um, and that's just kind of the general game plan when I'm making these tracks. It's like, I just want it to be different, and I want... I want variety in it for not to be for it to not just all be the same thing, right? That's the plan. That's the goal. Um, also, make it like a drivable track, right? We don't want like some track that's just completely undrivable. No one has fun, etc. Um, and I don't actually generally have to deal with um, with elevation that much. I think um, so far there's only been like three tracks with elevation. That was um, Silverstone, Monaco, and this one. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, at least this season. There's only been like a couple tracks. Um, an option would be raising uh, this part. Cause, oh, really, it's just, this is the word right here. Um, so we don't have to deal with these raises because it's already raised up. Or we can um, move the raises back to after the turn. But then what do we do with this? I think I, think I might just want to like, raise up everything. Um, or raise up the, this section by like four blocks. Oh boy, this is, oh boy. <laughs> I think we do that cell poly, and then we try our best, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the plan. Um, we'll go ahead and, we'll do the grandstands by itself, I guess. Um, okay, cell poly basically makes a, um, like a, custom selection uh shape yeah um in contrast with polyhedron where um this only goes like in the y axis is actually only like um if i go like this then everything goes up right but if i did polyhedron then every marker down on the floor would sit at floor height and only this one would raise up so it'd be like, it'd be a more complex shape but this is just kind of like a uh, a uh, uh, face, and then like raised up, like a cylinder versus a cone kind of thing, right? Kind of like that. Yeah, and if you're in spectator mode, if that is fast async, you should be able to right click. Um, yeah, and then we can go ahead and do. Um, also, another a fast async thing is if you just do slash slash two, it'll do position two, right? And if you do slash slash one, it'll do position one. Um, alright, we're gonna attempt it. <laughs> so we need to go up four blocks, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, oh, there's a five? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there are five. Okay, so we'll do, uh, copy. Uh, copy again. I might have jumped when I did it. That's one million, okay. I'm just gonna do paste. Not paste, might I say. Test. Um, okay, we didn't screw everything, you didn't screw anything up. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, let me do, um, the second one. Oh, this is gonna be so ugly. Holy crap. Um, 
Yeah. There's going to be some gaps, I think. We go up. You won't need those for a while. Um, you go four for this. Copy. One, two, three, four. Paste. Yeah, so you can see those gaps. We have to fill that in, but that's fine. We're doing like I. It's either we hand place everything up a block by hand, or we do majority of the work um, automatically with like quickly with world edits, and then we like fill in the gaps, like these gaps. Um, I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. You like my screensaver? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Um, next we do this floor, and so on, and so on, and so on. Oh, this is maybe awkward. I'm not gonna get that. It's fine. You don't have to go that high. Okay. Oh, it's three. So we're gonna go to that height, basically. Okay. Um. Then next we have this. I think that's good. I think this is one. This is one. Yeah. Uh. Cool. Um. Okay. Now we can we can drive. Two block. Hey, two block. Hey. <laughs> we got the two block gap. Thank God we don't we aren't like making two block gap shortcuts anymore. Oh my God, those are the worst. Um. Yep, okay, so now that's, this is basically flat. We got the F1 cards, which we'll have to remove. And then over here, we, yeah, okay, we have to do this. Yeah, so obviously, as you can see, kind of messy on the side here. But um, that's what we'll do, well, that's what we'll fix later on. <laughs> not, not now. I don't want to do this now. Um... Or, yeah, I, I don't like decorating. It's, it's on someone else to do that. <laughs> or, yeah. Uh, so I guess next we would want to patch these uh, gaps up. But um, for right now, actually, I think it's fine if we um, leave them mostly as gaps. We can um, go ahead and, like, fill in. Like, I just want to make it drivable first. And we can tune it. And then we can uh, fill in the gaps and decorate and stuff. Um, but for right now, I just want to make it drivable. I remember last time when we had Gab's track, I just uh, took the F1 cards, removed them, and actually pasted them back into the boxes. But since we're actually using the boxes now in the FC1, um, kind of just got uh, remove the F1 cards. Uh, we can maybe paste them somewhere else, but yeah, I actually cut and paste them somewhere. I was like, ooh. Uh, we can do like here, I don't know, paste, SA. Cool, we got cars. Yay. So now those are gone. We can go ahead and replace black and yellow, or uh, yellow and. Uh, if you just do a color like yellow, um, that actually basically mean yellow wool, at least in fast async world edits, and maybe in normal world edits as well. Uh, yeah, so let's do that with blue ice. I'll replace both blue, or. Uh, oh, okay, well, I guess. It did the thing I wanted it but to do, but I didn't do the right thing. Uh, we'll just do this. And then we'll do replace yellow with ice. There you go. Um, what is this? There you have it. We have the F1 cars under the grid. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so now we can drive turn one. Let's go. So this has to start finish line. That's weird. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, yeah, okay, so, generally, um, I guess, maybe start from the back, I think we did start from the back. This is a wide track, nice, good. Oh, okay, so yeah, um, you can actually save a TP command, right, so if I just do, like, TP here, right, you, you can save that to your hotbar or, uh, to your clipboard and just paste it, right, you can do that, or you can do, um, F3C, which is hold down F3 and press C, 
you can see it says copy location to clipboard. So now if I just paste, I paste, um, I go to where I was, including the dimension and the rotation, right? So if I go like this, right? If, if I just do like TP, um, I don't know, TP there, right? Um, and I do it again, I TP to the blocks, but like I keep the facing, right? So if I just do like that, then it'll, I'll always go back. It's pretty useful for testing and stuff. All right, optimal is probably gonna be going in the middle of the grid. Uh, I mean, actually, no, you might be able to take this turn better. I mean, that's takeable. You can you can do it with all blue eyes, huh? Let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, those are the break markers. Um, hmm. I mean, it doesn't feel that bad though. Like if I. Huh. We're getting to the fun part, the tuning part. Try to abuse the break markers. Not abuse, but use. Okay, yeah. I don't know how far they are. Like they, they don't have numbers on them yet, so I don't know if it's like 150, 100, or like 150, or just like 30 and 10 or some shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel it's actually pretty fine. Um, also, you might want to pick the Pack the the pit main all packed ice. It's kind of just like a visual aesthetic kind of thing. Also, yeah, you're gonna be wanting to make the drivers go slow in the pit main anyway. So um, yeah, we can actually go ahead and do that. Oh, we had a brush. This one. Um, we also have this one. Yeah, that can be the way actually. It doesn't really matter. I'm doing great. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna just do face blue eyes one seventy four or PA tab, whatever. Um Um, yeah, we can deal with the pit entry later. Um, that might be packed ice, I don't know. Okay, yeah, so turn one, once again, it's kind of just... Oh man, the angle is totally wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I'd really like to have my camera angle at 40. Um, kind of just whatever. People like to have them lower and have different FOVs. I don't know why they do that. I feel like with the correct break markers, this should be totally different. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so another part of tuning, I guess, is removing the carpets and stuff because um, turn one goes from like a moderate challenge, I guess, to just kind of. Oh, well, I was going to say wall tap off the carpet. But I mean, yeah, if I turned in earlier, you can see how far I was away from the apex. You just wall tap and just, they're fine. So, um, fun. Okay. What you could do is, um, take this, copy it, paste it, uh, replace yellow carpet, carpet with zero. Replace red carpet with red, and then white carpet with white. Carpet with white. Stand on top. Cut. Uh, paste minus A. And then you can just go ahead and remove the white and red carpet. Place red carpet, white carpet, zero. And then there you go. Um, yeah, so that's one way you can remove the carpet, or you can just do it by hand. That also works. If it's a small one like this, obviously like that big process isn't gonna really be worth the time. But I mean, yeah, for like larger ones, it could be worth it, especially if you do multiple in one. Okay, um, all right, and for gabs, uh, gabs, I think it's that or yeah, maybe that. Um, his tracks have a lot of carpet, uh, like the red and white. Uh, ribbons pattern. Um, 
like a bath carpet. Oh god. <laughs> run off some, run off some. Um, yeah, okay, so I mean, I got... Hmm. There are a lot of different aspects to doing tracks. Um, and yes, generally I do spend this one... I, I do also actually spend this long on doing one turn. Um, it's not a fast process. At least the way I do it and how I approach it. Um, if you're lazy, like, you can do it quickly, but um, I just don't. Um, I guess we could do, like... I don't know. We can let people keep the, um, or like if they do it well and like brush the apex or whatever, like you know, go like this. Then we can give them the ice and just let them have it. But um, we can also um, increase the safety net by adding pack ice along the rim. We can go ahead and add a. This is still chaos. It's still chaos. Okay. Um, brush cylinder. We can do like I don't know seven pack ice seven one. Mask blue ice. I'm just gonna go along the edge of the track, get on this ice. So we can just go like this. Oh, actually, um, right, okay. Let's do. Oh boy, here we go. Um, another thing I'd like to do is, um, actually, um, there are four ices in the game. There's normal ice, packed ice, blue ice, and there's also frosted ice. And we're going to make use of frosted ice right now. Um, we're going to do frosted ice. If the um, random takes speed is set to zero, it shouldn't melt. Also, with fast async, it shouldn't melt at all. Um, mass blue ice. And that basically lets us, um, we can do this without messing with the packed ice there, right? Um, and if you really want to, you can actually do um, frosted ice age equals three, and you can have like your own like you can. There are more than like four ices at this point because then you can actually do like, um, you know, so like, this is frosted ice right here, and this is frosted ice right here. But if you just do replace frosted ice age equals three with I don't know like water, you can see all the age three ice goes to water, but this frosted ice stays. So that 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 can actually help a lot with the organization and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna do replace frosted ice, age 3 with frosted ice. Cool, alright. Um, actually let's do blue ice. And just kind of reset. I don't know how I did everything. Let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and keep going. Oh. I mean, you know what, that's, that's actually fine. Um, let's just replace all the frosted ice with blue ice and start over again. Oh my god, I hate fast async. It, it, that flicking with a wand activates it. I don't like that. I prefer just right flicking. Or pressing F in my case. So, I mean, yeah. It, it, the results can be mixed. I guess the um, opening straight on Red Bull Ring is pretty wide compared to the rest of the width of the track, so it's gotta make a design like that. Um, from here, actually, if you want, um, right now we only have like blue ice and this will become packed ice. We can also add a third layer, like right here. Um, that's a couple blocks wide and make that like uh, a checkerboard. So it'll just be um, kind of like uh, packed ice, packed ice. It'd be kind of like this, right? So like checkerboard. Um, checkerboard basically has the properties of like in between blue eyes and packed eyes, which makes sense, right? So it's like slightly faster acceleration than packed ice and like um, more braking power than blue eyes. Kind of like an in between, which makes sense. Um, let's run this. Let's run this turn a little bit. So yeah, all that we've really added so far is a safety net to turn one. Um, or a little bit more of a safety net. Because I don't think you, if you're going to want to take the turn off on the yeah, you're not going to ever touch that packed ice. Or I guess in this case, frosted ice right now. Later, we'll replace the frosted ice with the packed ice. But for right now, it's uh, better for organization. Because otherwise, like, the packed ice will bleed over across and stuff. It's, it's annoying. And yeah. Okay, yeah. As you can see right there, the, um, it actually really helped the, um, like, the, uh, what's it called? The safety net. The frosted ice actually helped me because otherwise, if it was all blue ice, I think I would have like mowed over here. Um, yeah, okay, so hmm, 
I think that's fine. Yeah, like, you can do the turn without needing Pact Ice. You can just... I mean, yeah, you can do any turn on all Blue Ice. If you have, like, a 500, like, a 1,000 block Blue Ice straight and a Blue Ice, like, 90 degree turn, you can technically make that turn. But it just wouldn't feel good, right? Like, if you made it all Blue Ice um, and then add any Pact Ice to the turn or anything. Um, it's just, I don't feel like you're going that fast. It might be the width of the road that's throwing me off, but, like... Yeah, you're going decently fast here, yeah. Yeah, like you, that's yeah, like that's pretty close to optimal. Like obviously, like I'd want to be like right here or whatever. And but yeah, uh, block stop potential is not that much. Like uh, you could block stop technically. There's no pack dice that will discourage block stopping because block stopping is a lot better on the wise than pack dice. But um, I mean, you can block stop like right here, but I'm like still have to like go a little bit, and that's awkward. And it's generally like if it's a turn like this, like this. A 90 degree turn like that, then um, you can block stuff like right here and it'd be really good. But like if it's like this, then it's a lot less worth it or harder to block stuff. So turn one seems good. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. And then we keep going. We have a straightaway, then another 90 degree turn to the right. And we have elevation. Um, so this is like six blocks, right? It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, but also, you drop immediately right here. Um, so I'm thinking just maybe flatten it a little bit. Like we can, we can keep like one or two block raises, uh, maybe just one. And um, then we can just make everything else like pretty fat. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use sub poly again. Here we go. The slow process of flattening. Nice. Okay. Hmm. There might be a better way of doing this. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Let's do... Where do we want the the water elevator? You start getting height right here. So maybe like in the, in the middle. It's either we do it like before the turn, in the middle of the elevation change, or like right before the turn. Um, I think right before the turn, actually, we haven't had any like super long blue ice things. Oh yeah, actually yeah, no, like um we haven't really had that before. So I think I'm gonna add the um one block elevation rise right here. Because like it's right before the turn. So you're gonna have to break and learn how to deal with going through the um the bubble pillars. You call or sorry, water pillars. Um at the turn. Also oh but then we can't expect their speed to be the same. Eh. Okay. Um, alright, so then we can do, I guess we can just make this pack, I don't know, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, let's do here, did I miss? That's fine, we have to remove it in a way. Or we can leave it there. I'm genuinely contemplating it. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I let cone skip happen. Of course I'm gonna think about that. Uh, or leaving an F1 tra uh, thing on the track. Oh yeah, and the um the selection like you can see it with the flame. Um there's a plugin called um World Edit S U I, like World Edits S U I and that lets you um it's a it's like the selection indicator thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm smart. It's and stuff. 
F3. I always have those mixed up. Okay, that's one floor, and then we'll just keep going and going. Block. Cut. Paste. Okay. Cool, so this top part is still a block above, but we lowered everything to make this flat. And we're just gonna do the same thing four fucking more times. Getting big. Cool. And that's that. All right. Finally, we now have a fat thing. Let's go. AKA your girlfriend. I mean, yeah. Then all the blocks up. All right, I'm actually looking forward to this turn. Hell yeah, this turn's cool. It's different. I'm happy. So like we could clean this up, or we can let someone else do it. And I've been kind of letting other people do it recently, like do work, which is crazy because I don't need to do everything. And yeah, but yeah, I've been letting people do the work. Or do some work. Uh, so they can clean up this and whatever the fuck. Okay, so we'll go back. Set CP commands to like the apex or whatever. I guess we can start from here. So we'll have this sideways momentum. I mean, it won't be perfect. Just have to start on the packed ice or the frosted ice instead of the blue ice, which is where you'd start getting the momentum from, but whatever. Ooh, ooh, yeah, okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it, yeah. I'm just gonna do this. You wanna make it like flat, yeah? So, whenever you use a water pillar, which is what we're going to be using here, um, try to make it like flat along an axis, right? So you either go like always this way, or like entirely that way, or entirely straight that way. Do not go diagonal or diagonal, right? Just, just go straight that way, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Bass, water, yeah, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna finish this turn right here, and then we're going to go ahead and eat lunch and come back to this some other day, or time. Okay, yep, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the water pillar thing, thing. Um, Alright, so we need glass, water, soul sand. Um, okay, so we're gonna want two blocks of air in between the water and the soul sand, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna go stack one. Stack basically means that it, um, makes a copy of it in that direction, right? So if I do stack, like, five, right? It moves up five, right? If I do stack ten, it goes up ten, right? So... I just did that downwards, so that now is a copy of the ice and stuff, under the ice, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and do... I guess we can do... Like that. Replace... I can't spell replace. Blue ice... Ice, zero. Um, we're also gonna wanna, like, do that, this and stuff. Um, probably, yeah. Uh, for now we'll leave it. Uh, then we can do place blue eyes, packed eyes, just for the looks of it. Um, I think it's nicer to see like where the drop is, and using packed eyes is a good way of doing that. Um, okay, so obviously the gap shouldn't be this big, but just for right now we make it that big. Um. Do like right here. So generally, um, I already made a tutorial on how to make water pillars, but uh, generally you want to make it so that you place three blocks above where you want to make, like the height you want, 
Um, this is for a single one, like a single elevator. You go one up and do that. And then, yeah, and then you block off the sides. And there you go. Um, from here, I'm also going to make it um, every other thing is a water thing. So we're going to do this, 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 and so on. I take it back. We're doing it the other, they're doing the other side. Um, we're going to do from there, 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 there. Oh, they can wall tap off that. Oh, interesting, interesting. Ooh. Sounds fun. Okay, let me place the water. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. It's not gonna work, but we're just gonna do it anyway. Get a general idea. <laughs> yeah, okay. way too big of a gap. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add the backup. Okay. And all this uh, grass is going to get replaced by structure void, by the way. So we're going to do slash slash replace grass structure void. If you have fast async, you could actually do with air, except for um, this right here. This top layer above this uh, soul sand water is going to have to be um, structure void or some kind of. Um, block that is uh, like like a open defense gate would work um, a sign would work right um, a light of double zero so like lights level equals zero works right like th this would be fine um, but structure void also works um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this Uh, set bubble column, drag was false. That basically makes it so that's like the, it's the one that pushes you up, right? The one that we want. And then we're gonna do, I guess, you just replace an error. 15 vast structure void. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and move it forward a little bit. Let me try that. Uh, maybe like two more. Let's see here. So this is a good instance of like why I want to do with tuning, right? Like this, this right here does not promote different lines, right? It's not like, oh yeah, it's super diverse and like what lines are viable because you can go like here and turn in or whatever and then you do like whatever lines. No, it's not like that. It's not like, oh yeah, this is cool. This is a good turn because it um, promotes a lot of different lines, right? It's not like that here. It, do, it is good or what, what it is is it's, Okay, fucking, I don't know. It's, I like it because it's cool, right? We've never seen a super long blue ice straight to a, like, 90 degree right turn or whatever with a water elevator or uh, water pillars right before it, right? So now, generally, when you do a, you know, long blue straight away with a, like, reverse entry to, like, a 90 degree turn, you have to do an actual, like, reverse entry. And then you have to stop and, like, or turn around the boat and, like, break, basically, for a long time. Here, this will help you break. So now it's not to say, okay, it's like every other reverse entry where just, you know, drive, turn, break at the right time. It's, and it's like the break at the right time, which is the same time as every other thing I've done. It's going to be a, okay, now I have to break, but also factor in this, the breaking that naturally comes from this. And that's different. And that's kind of my goal, right? Like, um, some turns are tuned differently, right? Like there's a, um, I forget which track it was. It might have been like Emola or something, 
where there's like a big blue ice turn, kind of like um, it's kind of like the turn at Monza, uh, I got the Parabolica, um, except um, I added like a packed ice thing that started on the outside and then like went to the apex and went all the way back to the outside, right? It's, it, it doesn't promote different lines, I mean it does promote different lines in a sense, but like it's it's different. I don't think anyone's ever encountered a turn exactly like or like like that at all, right? And that's kind of like the goal, um, or that's kind of like what I like to do for tuning tracks. Because like clearly this turn is very different than any other turn that we've like really ever done in FC One, right? So like people are gonna remember that shit. Like they're gonna remember this and be like, oh yeah, Red Bull Ring. That was that was a cool turn, right? Or like that was a different turn. Um, and that's how, like, what I want to aim for with making FC1 tracks. Of course, you can't always do this. Like, at some point, like, you're going to have to use a lot of Mosquito FRA tracks, and those are all really similar. And I try my best to, like, mix it up. You know, Baku should have felt different than Spa Franc, right? Um... Which, right, so, I mean, it makes sense, because Spock is a street circuit, and there's, like, walls everywhere and stuff, but, yeah. Um, from here, we can maybe add tuning to this, maybe, like, make the outside pack dice or whatever, but honestly, I think this is fine. Like, uh, if we add pack dice here, it would be doing more breaking for them naturally, right? So they don't have to think as much on, like, how much to break. But, like, blue eyes, you slide a lot further on, you have a lot less breaking power on. And I feel like um, needing this device would actually like um, make the math problem or whatever you have to do in your head of like how much is this gonna help me break um, is gonna like be better with blue eyes up here. So I think this is good. Um, yeah, we can fill this in or whatever. We can test like doing this, right? Um, If that's consistent, that'd be better because it lets them keep more speed. Um, or it, it wouldn't be better, I guess. It's like, if we want to break more naturally for them with the water pillars, then um, we add more gap. As long as it's consistent, right? It's the exact same thing. The exact same thing. I'm such a bot. Holy shit. Ooh, nice. No boat cam, baby. Completely freaking blind. Can't see. At all. Surprised I didn't hit this carpet. But yeah, so uh, that's that. Um, that's another turn done. I'm happy with this turn. I'm happy with it. Um, mm, I might actually remove this. I liked it more of what it was beforehand. Without that one block. I don't think it made that much of a difference, but I mean, I don't know. I like that more, yeah. It feels better. I mean, if you want to make it like stricter and like um, harder, then we'd actually add that block back that I just removed. Like, we would do this. Um, but I think this is fine. I like this. Alright, um, so that's that for that turn. Um, I think I'm gonna go eat lunch and um, upload stuff. It's like, I normally eat lunch like two hours like before now, so uh, a little bit late, but yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go do that. I'll record more of this later. Alrighty. Alrighty, we're back to it. Let's go. Alright, yep. So, back to Red Bull Ring, and we're gonna keep killing the track. There is a pig on the track. Death. Oh, fuck. Techno. Oh. Well, anyways. Nice. Yeah, I like that turn now. Alright, next up is this one block drop. Um, hmm. So,
so basically, and that's, that's the next one. Next one's right here. Um, we have a few options. We can either, um, like, leave the drop as is and just let it stay here. We can move it back to, like, be over here. So, like, immediately after doing the turn, you can just drop. Or we actually raise all of this up one block until right before the turn. Or, like, somewhere that, um, that affects this turn right here, right? So, like, for instance, if we made the drop happen right here, then they would have to, the drivers would have to basically learn how to manage that, um, slowdown, the acceleration from being in the air when doing this turn, right? Um, so we can do that. Uh, very similar to actually what we just did on that turn, the, the previous turn. Um, instead of, um, with the one block drop though, here we use the water elevator and the dropping from here. Um, so I mean, I don't know, like, huh. Do I still have... No, okay. Let's see here. Get set up another F3C right here. And let's see. I mean, it would be nice to be rewarded for um, doing this turn well. I think that adding a wonder block drop immediately after the turn would have removing that reward, right? Um, hmm. I mean, hmm. If we're really going to reward them though, I don't think that we should have to drop at all until like before the next turn, right? Um... That's an awkward place to put a drop. And then turn... Oh, yep. Carpet. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> um... Right. Okay. Hmm... You know what? We're pulling um, a Canada. There's one turn on Canada that's pretty interesting. Um, basically, it's a there's a somewhat long blue ice straight before the turn, but then like for a hundred blocks, like within 150 blocks and 50 blocks from the apex, I make it packed ice. But then 50 blocks to zero blocks to the apex, I make it blue ice. Um, I'm thinking we do the one block drop like here. And have a giant blue ice straight, and then make it like packed ice, blue ice, and make the turn blue ice. Um, basically, just doing a Canada. Um, I think that'd be pretty interesting. Um, I mean, I guess for the rest of the track, though, let's see here. I want to see what the next what the next turn is. I guess. Um, oh, it's this shape. Okay, interesting. Right. Okay. So what? How would it feel to do the turn actually right now? That's not that bad. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. F1 car. Yeah, okay. Um, bull. Yeah, I think we can do the Canada thing. Alright, so let's drop the track, like, here, I guess, yeah. Alright. Oh, the Aramco thing is yet messed up. Oh well, boohoo. Deal with it. Hmm. Not like that. Let's see.
Hmm. I'm just gonna make it earlier. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we can go ahead and make it earlier. That's a rep. Yeah, we can just do this. Testing again. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and do that there then. Okay. Uh we're gonna sell poly. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm just, I'm thinking like... Hmm... Slash slash two. This is a cut paste, yeah? I believe so. So we're gonna do cut. And we're gonna do paste. Cool. Okay. Yes, it's gonna be one block rather than me test it, but it's whatever, it's totally fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. <laughs> this does not look fine. <laughs> whatever. Someone can fix that. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. Cause yeah, you'll, you'll mow even harder, right? Like in Silverstone, there's a, um, the term like the S's, um, there's like one S and then like another S, and on that second S you can, there's like a one block drop, and if you take the turn wrong, it's really easy to take the turn wrong, you actually like, basically just do this. And then like, you're like three blocks into the off-road, so you mow really hard for something that's like not even that big, that would normally not even be that big of a fault, of a fault right? Um, so yeah, I think this is pretty interesting, because I almost messed up there, yeah? Like I, I did, the first time I tried that, um, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Cool, okay. Yeah, and then we can go ahead and replace the carpets and stuff. Uh, we can probably just do it by hand, that'd probably be faster. There you go. Oh man, I cannot wait for someone to fucking... Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to replace the other carpet, because they're, they're gonna do this. And now... <laughs> now... They kind of just... Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, fine, fine, fine. Hold on. <laughs> okay. 
I'm keeping the other carpets over there, though. Those are saying. Those don't have to go. And you wait. Okay, and then yeah, we got those ribbons. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and fix this right here. Okay. <laughs> and then... Okay, we'll set up a TP right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna have to be fixed. That one block's sticking up there. So you pack dice, blue ice. I will say, yeah, that one turn, the Canada turn that we're gonna like implement here with the pack dice and then like the pack dice section and then like the blue ice turn, um, that did throw me off a lot during the actual race. Um, and I think during time traveling too, it was it wasn't the greatest, um, or I wasn't the greatest at it. I'm gonna go ahead and actually copy like over here. It was just like, oh fuck, uh, so cube void. <laughs> Cool, alright. Position one. I guess we can do like replace red carpets, uh, lights, that will equals one. We can do white carpet and then replace not light zero replace light or er, light double equals one with red and then yeah that works hey there we go so we can do both at once yeah there we go okay uh this was uh I think it's, yeah, okay. Cut. Paste minus A. Cool, and then we can just replace all the carpets with, uh, air. Red carpets, white carpets, zero. And now we should be good to go. Those are like 25 blocks, yeah, like, <laughs> this is, okay, okay. Okay, alright, and then we do, I'm thinking like, okay, yeah, so we're gonna do, I think it's TP 50? Uh, yeah, that worked actually, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go from here, try to look straight, 50. That's 50 blocks from the apex, right? Um. That's using carrot notation, so like TP, 50, I'm guessing that like sends me up. Oh, it sends me to the left, right? And I can do um, negative 50, I'll send you 50 blocks to the right. And then um, 50 in the, sec uh, the second one should probably be up. 
then this is down, and then negative 50 would send you 50 backwards, 50 would send you 50 forwards, and etc. That's the chart notation basically. Okay, so it's uh, 3332. I'm just gonna. whatever it's. Uh, oh, that's ugly. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, we're we're doing that. Okay. Wait, this two three three two two. What? Okay. Or I guess we could just do this. Yeah, that would look better. Okay. Um. So we're gonna do. Oh, I guess it's one three three or one three two three one. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, then we'll go a hundred, I guess. TP one hundred. Okay, and we'll just do like Okay, and then we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and actually do brush cylinder air ten one and do mask blue ice and then we can just do slash slash fill. I don't know why I chose to do it this way. I'm yeah, I don't know. <laughs> slash slash fill by the way, basically just fills in an empty gap, right, right, so like if there's, if you have something like this, right, where it's like an air gap, right, and there's just like, yeah, we can just do slash slash fill, uh, uh, frosted ice, sure, age equals 3, uh, and then we'll do like 50, and yeah, that makes like a, I don't want to explain it actually, I, yeah, no, okay, <laughs> okay, um, oh, then I guess, yeah, like we can put the 100, 50 break marker right here. We'll do break markers later, but uh, before I forget, this is where the 150 is. Um, and so that right turn, so we put on the left side. A okay. And then the 51 is right here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay. Sure. That can, someone can still run into that, I'm sure. Um, okay. Let's test it. Can't wait to get my ass checked. Oh, that's way too long. Oh, but it's awkward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, I, 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 I fucked it up. It's so weird. It's so weird. Oh, that's crazy. I kind of want to keep it. Like, it doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. But just the fact that it's weird and stuff is like, yo, that, that stands out. And I'm a sucker for standing out. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it's not difficult, I guess, but it's weird. Uh, I mean, I guess we don't have to do that. We can do, like, I mean, shit, what if you just said, like, uh, checkerboard? Um, I guess we can try checkerboard, yeah. Um, okay, so how we do checkerboard is like this, or here's how I do it. Um, so I take a little bit of land, I just do this. Then I select it, stack like, I don't know, 50, right? So now I see I cover everything, you'll see. Um, then I do G mask, uh, frosted ice, right? So I do G mask, frosted ice, and then I stack this that way. So I'm gonna just stack like 30, and then there you go. Only the frosted ice is affected by the stack, and now we have checkerboard. That's how I do checkerboard. Huh. 
I mean, that feels that feels better. Um, huh. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm nailing it way too much. All right. Um. All right. Let's just do. Let's do fifty. So let's go. TP fifty. Cross the ice age three fifty. Uh a G mask. Okay, and then we'll just do blue ice. We can go ahead and try the packed ice first. Uh frosted ice, ice and packed ice should all have the same friction coefficient, which means they all have the same speed and deceleration rate. Or this acceleration and deceleration rate. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take the chance now to actually uh, mark down the 100 thing. <laughs> yeah, before I forget again. Uh, yeah. Again, before I forget. Okay. I think I mowed on the left side here. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I, I was sli- or... I slid down a little bit because of the uh, grazing me off-road. Interesting. I don't think that you have enough speed for it to really, like, really affect you. It's not nearly the level that Canada was. So I'm not going too fast yet. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Huh. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I mean, it works. Like, yeah, this is, that's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess if you want, we could also add a safety net. Um, so you can get to the outside. Probably gonna do a checkerboard. Uh, or that's what I'm thinking. Or actually, you know what? Let's try the checkerboard now. Um, uh, 30. And then G mask. Cross the dice. Stack 30. Let's just try it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had um boat hud at this uh, for this because um boat hud would have been really like would boat would be really nice to see like how much it actually slowed down to this um checkerboard or even like speedometer. Oh well. Um. Ooh, we can actually add some awkward stuff to that turn, like um, Imola or no, it's Catalonia. Catalonia like turn two or like the big turn. Let's add some packed ice in some awkward spots. Or like, in an awkward way. Hmm. I guess we could, yeah. This track is gonna be so weird. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's do, let's do it. Um, and I mean, I don't know how I feel with the uh, checkerboard. Like, it's... Huh. I feel like it... Yeah, it... It's a lot more noticeable when it's packed ice, which makes sense. Um, oh Jesus, I, I <laughs> butterfingered. Hmm. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm just on you. Okay. Yeah, sure, that works. I can do some weird stuff through here. So yeah, I guess um, we're gonna use fast dash curve. I think it is. Um, so we're gonna to do that. I think we need to use cell convex. Don't know what the hell this is. Um, oh, no, this is let's see, let's see. I actually don't know. Uh, set one. Oh, GMask. Set one. I have no clue. Okay. Yeah, alright. Um, but basically we need selection convex to make curves. So if you do like, um, here, 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 and here, we do like slash slash curve, pack dice, and it does a curve for us, right? It's like placing down points on a graph, and having a computer automatically draw a curved line through those points, right? That's what we're going to be trying to use right here. Um, I'm curious, what if we do like this, like this? Okay. Okay, so it doesn't like... It, I think it tries to hit, like it actually like straight up hits every point no matter what. Okay, so it's going to be mostly on us actually to make the curve. Um... We could do a circle. Um, maybe. Okay, so yeah, the optimal line is going to be outside, breaking, like that, I think, yeah? So like... Probably like that, I'd imagine. Probably maybe not that far that way. Probably more like this. Maybe something like that, right? Um, so I guess... We can go ahead and punish that? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna do... I might want... I maybe should have kept that. Uh, red, I guess. I've never actually utilized curve or slash slash curve for doing something like this before. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hmm. So we're gonna do. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I want to go further, so. We can try that. Sure. Um. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit curious actually on, on how this is going to go. So 
So I think we need some curved pack dice. Yeah, my initial plan was just doing a curved pack dice, and then um, Cad is using a brush um, to like place more pack dice and like um, a larger area around it. But um, I'm wondering if actually if you just do um, G mask blue ice, and you just like add a number. I think it actually. Yeah, there it is. It basically just do that for me. Um, and I can only undo once and it undoes, undoes it for me. Nice. Um, I should have done... Let's see here. Replace... Red concrete with like... Frost dice. It did not do the... Oh, G-Mask. I don't think... Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, I'll just do this for now. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and test it. Yeah, so as you can see, um, this tuning process is really slow. Um, it's not just like a 10 minute thing. I mean, it could if you want it to be. But I don't think that the track's going to be too interesting then. Uh, mm. I mean, I think I took that pretty well, honestly. I mowed. I don't know why you want to do that. Hmm. I think you should be fine to keep, probably, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. If we actually... Did like... Face pack dice, frost dice, age equals 3. Um... And then... We did... Checkerboard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh so make it back up right here. Um set three. Sure. We just do Oh boy. Pacer. Set three. And then we can do stack. Like ten. Hey, uh, hey, uh, um, stack like seven, whatever, that's fine. Um, G mask frost ice. Uh, a frosted ice age was three. And like stack like fifty. Let's see here. I'm uh, a lot of the track is dirt now, but I mean, we'll get the general idea. Yeah, I mean, I think that's. Um, I mean, I 
Don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, here, like, now, <laughs> what even is happening here? I, it was gonna, it's gonna take some, like, tinkering to, like, figure out what the best line is here, right? I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty good, too. I mean, I'd, I'd be happy with that, for sure. Um. Hmm. Okay, I don't think anyone's gonna understand what the fuck I was doing here. Um, myself included. But you know what? I think it looks pretty interesting. Oh, G mask. Cool. And then we can go ahead and smooth it out. Um. Cool. Oh yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with this. I think. I think. You know, we can always come back and visit it. If we just like it. Or to tune it up or whatever. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna add a sign saying what I did. Slash curve. Pack dice 2. I'm not good at spelling. Cool. Alright. And yeah, I left a bit of a mess in the infield, but whatever. It's I also left a mess right here, so you know what whatever. Um okay. F one car. Zero. Goodbye. Okay. Um Alrighty. Let me start from like here, I guess. Oh yeah. What does F3V do? I think it's F3Q, which is help. Yep. F3V. What? Like visible chunks? Hey. What is that? Building visible chunks. Okay, I don't know what the fuck. Whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Bonk. That's fine. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I can do here. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the carpets first. There's a lot of them, yeah? Oh, we can just do the whole section, can't we? Alright, let's do the whole section. <laughs> uh... Life with the two. Position one. Two. I think that's everything. Cool. Ah, uh, a little bit higher. Ok, 
Okay, so we'll face red carpets with uh, lights that would just one or zero, I guess, and then white carpet with lights that would just one. Replace not light zero. Uh, replace a light that equals zero with red carpets, and then white carpets uh, level one. Uh, oh wait, <laughs> okay. Replace white carpets white red carpets red, and then we. Cut, paste my SA, and there we go. And we can also, um, 52. We'll go ahead and slash slash replace carpet with air. Place red carpets, white carpet zero, and there we go. No more carpets. Let's go. Okay, let's see here. Well, if we want to be dick, then we can just make the better line slower. Just to, just to be a dick. Yeah, like, it's not like, well, if you make the ultimate line slower, then you can get an overtaking line, and someone behind can take the, the whatever other line, and then a block, and no, that's not how ice building works. Because that's not how ice building works. In so many ways. Um, we could just go apeshit with packed ice. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, like, just, yeah. Destroy each of the packed ice. Uh, I mean, it's not like you have to add packed ice or checkerboard to every turn. Um, yeah, it's not like you have to add something interesting to every turn. <laughs> the past three turns have been pretty interesting already, so. We can always just add some um, safety net and just call that good. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah, like we, yeah, we don't really need to add anything there, but we could. I mean, okay, so what would, what could we add that would make things more interesting? I think the the being a dick option of just making this line, the outside line right here, slower is just it doesn't really do anything. Like. Sure, it would be like, oh man, but now this line is like slightly more viable, even though it's still like not that much viable, it's not really that viable. But hey, it's slightly more viable, whoa, and it doesn't really do anything other than just like take off time for others and just, be, just being so a little bit unsatisfying. So I don't think that that's gonna be a good, yeah. I mean, we could add some, like, packed ice here, so that they don't slide outwards as much. Hmm. Maybe we could. Let's see here. We can use some checkerboard. Checkerboard would probably be a good idea. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and add some frosted ice. Really starting to like frosted ice. Seven there, frosted ice, uh, age two? Sure. Uh, three. One. Mass blue ice. And we'll just add it to the inside of these turns. So I guess, let's start with the first one. You not? Eh? Okay, there it is. Uh, I'm getting called. Hold on. 
Hello. I'm going. How are you? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, I see. Uh, sure, I'll take some. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Drive safely. Bye. My grandpa's going to bring me dinner. Let's go! Okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and... I mean, hell, a nice rule of thumb. Not rule of thumb, but like something I could just do to make it easier on me and not make myself have to make decisions. Um, I can just go along the ribbon, the red and white, and then stop at the end of the ribbon. Tell who calls it the ribbon. I don't know what the hell they're called. Um, yeah. Just like this. We can test it. Um, we can test how it feels with this porosity ice or packed ice. Um, before converting it into checkerboard. But, yeah. Let's see here. My block stopped a little bit. I like that actually. Wait, what? I felt like that helped a little bit. Hmm. Maybe remove some right there. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. Um, honestly, you can probably just say packed ice. Um, and then we can go ahead and remove some right here. Face frosted ice, uh, blue ice, and then, oh yeah, we can't actually. Ah, uh, we can just do this. Yeah, uh, replace blue with frosted ice, age equals two. Alright, so let's see. I mean, that was a pretty minor change. It didn't move that many packed ice or frosted ice blocks, but whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if that was, um, if that wasn't frosted ice, but rather a uh, blue ice, I would have stood out a lot more this way, right? Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, well, I mean, if anyone ever notices that, like, oh yeah, the frosted ice is only at the uh, ribbon or whatever, um, and then, like, it starts at the ribbon here, but it doesn't actually go all the way to the end of the ribbon, whatever, and whatever, fuck it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then also we can add some um, safety net with fact ice on the outside, in case someone drastically messes up, it doesn't, it isn't as punishing, so you don't, like, mow. So yeah, like, uh, we can do... Uh... Line pack dice. Uh, hold on, no. G mask blue ice. And then line pack dice, okay. Let's see here. It's basically just like, wherever they are never really supposed to be, um, you can add packed ice, right? So like, 
I don't know if anyone's ever gonna want to be over here per se, right? So you might as well add pat dice along this edge. Um, maybe. And no one's ever gonna want to be over here, right? So. Or I mean, like, well, if they don't like the frosted ice and they go around the frosted ice, they just swing out more. And then they would be able to recover by using that. Huh? Hmm. You can checkerboard it. Yeah, okay, I'm done with checkerboard it. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and. I don't know, sure. Brush cylinder. Uh. Blue thing fast. Uh. 3 1. Mask blue. Blue ice. Uh. 9. Blue. Uh, yeah, sure. Let me replace it with blue thing fast. Uh, after I finish it. Dude, I'm making a mess. I should have done water so I don't have to break the box in place, I just place. Same fast. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and set up the. Whatchamacallit? Ugh. I don't know why I did the minus Uh, set two. This, this. What? Okay, stack ten. Uh, fifteen. G mask, blue staying fast. Stack forty or thirty. Yeah, that works. We can go ahead and paste this back. Uh, view mask. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I missed some. That sucks. I'll just, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. The first one is actually kind of meh. I don't know if you need it on the first one. Yeah, I think we can move on. We, we don't need that one on the first. Maybe we can also um end the frosted ice earlier on the second one, because I like I still I stopped completely in that direction, um or the direction I want to be stopped in, and then um I mean that was actually pretty good right there for the first one. I don't know. You know what? I think this is actually fine. Okay, let's try to go outside and see how it feels. So yeah, I guess that will mean on the second one we should go wide and avoid the frost this. Let's see here. That was good. Yeah, alright, sure, sure. Okay. Um yeah, I think everything is okay. We'll leave the first one uh how it is. It should be fine. Okay. All right. Uh, there. Oh, I mean.
Okay, right, that's that. Uh, next up, we have elevation. Let's go. And then point this elevation here. Let's go. Wait, that's the entire track? Wait, really? Is Red Bull Ring small? Like, what? <laughs> There's like 10 turns. Oh, that's crazy. There's like 30 turns of Silver Sound. <laughs> like, what? Huh? There are like 10 turns. What? Huh? I'm thinking we might just fatten this, right? We do a little bit of elevation stuff here. I mean, like, um, no, that is kind of like the, this is the big elevation thing. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, no, there's actually, we really don't play with elevation too much. I feel like we should do at least one more bit of elevation, huh? Uh, hmm. So, the Canada thing, uh, I did earlier by adding the pack dice before a blue ice turn, right? It's like, from here to here is pack dice, and then like, the turn is actually blue ice. Uh, we can do the same kind of concept, where we drop, like, we do a one block drop, like, here, and there's still a little bit of space to the turn. Getting called. Hello? Oh, okay, coming. Let's go! We got food! Okay. So yeah, we can do something similar to the Canada thing, where um, we slow them down before the turn, and it's kinda awkward. I'm totally fine to do that, yeah. Um... Wait. Okay, no, it drops three blocks. Okay, cool. Hmm... It would be funny, if, um, I kinda wanna keep two block, like, two one block drops. Just to, like, give the feel that there's more elevation changes. Because, like, Red Bull Ring actually is the track in the F1 calendar that has the most elevation, uh, discrepancy. So, like, um, like, the largest overall height, just, uh, like, you know, the mo the furthest down and the highest up are, like, is the largest gap for any F1 track, right? So, um... I kind of want to add two one block drops here to um, kind of give it more of a feel of like elevation changes. But then again, I think that this right here is part of the track that's supposed to have the most elevation change. <laughs> right here, and it's only one block, right? You only actually go up one block. So we have this part over here that goes up two blocks, which would mean that it's higher than the one over there. And I think the one over there in real life is actually higher than the one over here. So actually, I mean, I don't know. Total. Um, hmm. Uh, 
Okay. I think, hmm. There's not that many normal turns on this turn. I mean, yeah. I think the track might be a bit easy. Which is fine. We've had a lot of difficult tracks so far in FC1. Um, we've had a bit of a easy track streak now for like three tracks, but like before that was like a hard track streak for like five or six. Like they were just all hard. Um, so I think this is fine. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, hmm. Let's do one block. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, glass here. It's not going that fast. We could probably do. And we can do soul sand, two block gap there. Like here. And then lower this, lower this. And. We want the one block drop to be like right here. Like that. And then turn like right there. Wait, there isn't that much of a run up though. I mean, they'll have some speed. Hmm. So then I guess. Let's do... Hmm. This is... Yeah, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart right now. So I guess we just lower this, lower this. And then the one block drop would be here. So we have to lower here to there. Okay, yeah, so let's just make it... Make everything this double first, and then we'll, um... Do part two. Okay, so let's do... Cell poly. Here we go again. Let's do it. Oh, uh, uh-oh, oops. <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, okay. The tree should uh, definitely help hide the elevation changes, I think, to some degree. Oh wait, okay. We're not going to do the grandstands, we can deal with those later. Um, Uh, over here we're doing 54, y equals 54, I'm just gonna make sure, cool, oh right, yeah, so this is what we need. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and lower that one. Cut. Paste. I think it's okay, yeah? It looks perfectly fine to me. The trees do a great job. Dude, you can't even see the fucking difference. Holy shit, look at this. Oh, that's a hack right there. Oh, man. Dude, yeah, that's insane. Okay, cool. Bet. Uh, Alright, let's do it again for this. Just 
two. Let's do... No, this might look bad. This might look bad. Okay. We'll see. Can't actually tell. Here, 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 and here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. That's it, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's play it up down. Um, okay. And then, yeah, we will do the one block drop. Not here, but back here, I guess. Let's actually just try this right now. I'm kind of curious to see how it would play. Uh, first, we need to remove the carpets and... Uh, uh, keyboard. Uh, make this water elevator or water pillar. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We'll just do this by hand. Wait a second. Uh, end gateway. And they do make the be- Oh shit. They could do- Is there anything on the ground? Is it all just- Oh, it's probably all just dirt. Oh. I was gonna say, like, you can find, like, ores on the ground by doing, like, replacing your 100 diamond ore with, like, end gateway. And then, like, the thing goes through the floor. Like, yeah, let's just do set white carpet. And then it goes through the floor- Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, set three. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yep, so then we're gonna, after doing this, we're gonna make the, uh, water pillars elevator thing. And then we will go ahead and try to turn how it is right now. Then probably change it. And then that's it. Like, we're basically done. There's like one turn after that, and like, that's it. I mean, yeah, we have to like, clean up the track and stuff, but I mean... That can wait. Okay, um... Yep, so once again, we go three blocks above the floor of where you want to be, and then you go up. And then you go across. Do this. We're gonna stack, replace blue ice with zero, um, replace blue ice packed ice, 174, let's go, hmm, I <laughs> can just drive along the edge, oh no, <laughs> yeah actually it's uh, do that, yeah, that's probably the best plan. Um, soul sands. Uh, 
that bubble column, drag was false. Um, hmm. Cool. And then we'll do water. I don't think we need to go near this far. We can go further. We can honestly go like to like here. It's four blocks. Okay, let's test. <laughs> make make this blue ice and start from here. Oh, that'd be cool. Let's see. I'm dumb. It made it up. It made it up. Uh, replace near 15 vast structure void. All right, cool. Uh, we'll stress test this a little bit. Oh, we'll do like two more tries, just to make sure. Um, generally, if anyone ever, like, it should be, if anyone ever, if the water pillar doesn't work for anyone, uh, they should report it immediately. Um, and try to get as many details as possible, like, which side were you on? Did you have a full run up or were you like going partial speed? Um, what's your FPS? If it's like two, then that might cause issues. Um, etc. Has this ever happened before? Or like, had, had, I mean, like, how many times has it, has it happened to you on this other, or this water pillar? Um, has this ever happened to you? Are, are you like, this has happened to you a lot with other ones, right? Okay, that's brain dead easy. Yeah, no, no, okay, no, 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 no. Um, I mean, I think this turn's maybe not that hard at all, ever. You know, that's, that's like, super easy. Alright, uh, that's a hard no. Um, we're gonna drop, like, back here. <laughs> Okay, let's do... Oh wait, oh yeah, cell poly. Oh, those carpets, bro. Let's do... Paste. The trees are OP, dude. You can't see shit. Holy. Like, that's a little bit messed up. But like, otherwise... Bro, this is busted. Trees are awesome. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a hack. Um, in the future, abuse trees. Abuse trees. For, um, that. Uh, for elevation stuff. What I just said, yeah. Don't like... Inappropriately. Okay, anyways. Okay, 
Uh, let's try it now. That's... Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, not feeling it. Maybe like drop... Here. This is not enough speed. To make it like... Awkward. Hmm. Yeah, I think here should be fine. Alright, so let's do... See here. Oh wow, actually looks good. Nice. Uh, warp Red Bull Ring. Awesome. Good job, Adam. You did great. You did great, honey. Or er, sweetie. God damn it. Honey works too, yeah. Not sponsored. Oh, don't mind me being blinded. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just... Testing it, seeing how it feels. I'm over two right now and actually making the turn. Which honestly is kind of a good sign. Like, if you want to make it look weird or like be a weird turn to match every other turn on this goddamn track, then yeah, I think we did a good job with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be pissed about the elevation. You know what? Whatever. Part of the job is disappointing Adam. <laughs> uh. Ah, I mean I've ran it like seven times now and I'm kinda used to it already. That either goes to show how good I am or how or whatever the turn is. Blah, blah, blah. Um I think eh, eh. I think it's fine. Um, a little quality of life thing, you can just, um, outline the edge with packed ice so they can see, like, where the edge is. Because I, ha I was having a hard time seeing where it was. Um, so let's do that. Peace effect. You know. Nice. And then remove the F1 cars. <laughs> or we can keep them. Dude, I kinda wanna keep them. I mean... I mean... Like... Like... Oh, I am just probably destroying them right now. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad. He's not doing it with World Edit either. He's breaking it with his fist, isn't he? Oh, I'm gonna be so sad. <gasps> He's doing it with World Edit! <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a chance. <laughs> I think it spice things up. 
Okay, to be fair, the track is already weird enough. I don't think we need to add anything else to make it, like, different, you know? Like, I think that there's already enough, uh, oh, sad. Uh, there's enough to remember, in a way. Also, yeah, you know what? No, yeah, yeah, I like that turn. Um, yeah, that turns a little bit hard. Or at least it felt hard right then. So, yeah, I think, I, okay, fine. Fair, fine, whatever. Yeah, we'll remove the carpets, but... Alright, yeah, so I guess that's that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna want to do anything for the last turn. We might add some, um... Yeah, I guess we can add some... What's gonna call it? What is this? Okay. Um, we can add some safety net. Cylinder... Uh... Uh-oh, Adam's doing something. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, cylinder, process dice, age equals... Uh, A equals 1, uh, 2, 1, mask, everybody has a mask, whatever. Okay, um, yeah, so I guess we just do, he's making the track easier, uh, I don't know about that. He's adding more road to the track. Which does something. Make it easier isn't maybe. Because now, like, now optimal might mean you have to abuse or use that, and that might be awkward or hard. So yeah, actually it might be fine. It should probably be fine. For building purposes, there are like seven different types of ice, which is really cool. I like that. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's a that's good enough to connect. It's not like huge, but it it it's something, you know. Move the carpets. No one's gonna use those that those freaking. Yeah, no, those are not getting, these are not getting used. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I don't think we really have to do anything else. We're, we're gonna actually, yeah, no, we're gonna have to make this, uh, pack dice, so I guess we'll just do that now. Um, let me just do this one, I guess. Brush cylinder, pack dice. Uh, three one, mass blue ice. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording right now, and then we'll start it up again, finish whatever. Okay. So yeah, that about wraps it up. I don't know what the hell Adam is Adam is doing. He's doing something. But uh, yeah. I guess we can do a few laps. Let's see here. So yeah, turn one is the actually just normal turn with some uh, safety nets. Turn about here. Normal turn. Then we have the cool water pillars right before the turn. Turn. Nice. Drop right there. Cool. I've been uh, I've been pinged. Canada thing. I mowed. Oh, right, this weird Catalonia thing. Then we have the normal turns, but with frosted ice, which will replace with packed ice. Use these brushes or face snares. Now 
And then the one block drop. Oh man, the path that is in the pit entrance actually fucks with that, huh? Oh, that's sad. And that's a map. Um, yeah, the path that is in the pit entrance kind of does, uh, make it sad. What if we add a wall tap right here or something to encourage people to stay on the blue ice? That would be interesting. Adam would not like that. And I don't know how I would pull it off. I can't just, like, do that. Or put a barrier block down <laughs> or something. That's not going to happen. I can't just add banking to the road. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think this is fine. Um, yeah, generally, I think I'm going to... Um, whenever I tune up tracks, I uh, generally uh, do a lot of laps before, like, saying, okay, this is good. Um, also, yeah, like, it's not complete... Like, I add this, but, like, this is also going to have to be, like, you know, let's smooth it out, you know, and then etc. right? Uh, smooth it out and stuff. Um, we can do that later, though. That isn't that big of a deal. But, yeah, so that's, like, trying the basics on how I tune tracks. Um, I think I focused a lot more on, like, or I really heavily focused on making the track different. Um, adding interesting turns that, like, you can't just, like, do once, it's like, oh yeah, this is the ultimate line, right? You, you, you have to, like, have to go back and think and look and test, even, maybe. Like, right here. It's like, well, I mean, do you want, like, small stay on the inside, or do you want to fly outside? Or whatever, you know? It requires at least a little bit of some, like, some thought, right? Um, yeah, so, I think that, I think that's probably the general objective I have while making these tracks. Like, sure, it, it's, it, like, sometimes I do try to, like, you know, encourage different lines. But generally, I think having different lines is really hard and nice about racing. So, or, like, multiple different lines are, like, so competitive. Um, like, a couple turns that actually do it well are, like, uh, that one turn on Silverstone, that's, like, more than 270 degrees. Or, like, it's a, it's almost like a full circle. I guess. Um, we did like a pack that's inside, then checkerboard in the middle, and then blue eyes on the outside. Um, same exact concept on PC, a blue city circuit. Um, yeah, and that, that's like where, yeah, you can technically take like different lines. You can go around the inside, in the middle, or on the outside, and they're all about as fast, right? But that's, yeah, like I can't, it's just, yeah. I think track feels pretty good. It's a little bit easy. But I mean, you know what? Like, it's fine. As long as they're not all easy or they're not all fucking difficult as shit, I think it's fine. It's it's fine to have easy tracks now every now and then. It's fine to have hard tracks every now and then. Thank you, Adam. Um, yeah. But yeah. So yeah, from here, I'm just going to do a lot of laps and just um, tune... Uh, fine tune whenever I feel it needs fine tuning. Um, so, you know, like if I feel like, oh yeah, it would actually be better if we give them one more block of air time, so just give them slightly more braking power, then I will do that, right? And if I feel like, oh yeah, this right here can use a little bit of checkerboard because it's awkward or something, you know, then, then I can do it. But generally, I think this is like, this is probably going to be how it ends up, um, mainly. So, yeah, that's how I make FC1 tracks. There you go. That, that's, that's it. Um, oh yeah, right. Um, well, I'm going to have to definitely um, at some point record how to um, use the MC Stacker. We just like make a giant pixel art and then you ice that over and stuff. Um, so I'll have to record that sometime. But for now, uh, yeah, this is, this is all I've got. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and run the track, tune it a little bit and stuff. Alright, thanks for watching, yeah!